Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. And in today's, or in this video, I'm going to show you question number four from January 2020, P1, Pure Mathematics P1 paper from International A-Level at Excel. And here we have a question about radian measure. Um, and in this question here, we have this plan view of a house A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D, that rectangle shape, and a lawn A, P, C, D, A. So it's kind of like a sector of a circle with a bit taken out of it, that triangle a bit. Okay. Um, it says A, B, C, D is a rectangle with A, B equals 16 meters. So let's start putting the, the length in that 16 meters. It's a rectangle, so all the corners are right angles. So this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle that might help us. Um, and what else do we know? It says APCOA, APCOA. Okay, so this is a sector of a circle with radius 12. So that means O to C is 12 meters, and O to A will also be 12 meters as well. Okay, so that's a sector from, if you, the O, A, P, C, O, that's a sector. Okay, um, radius 12. All right, so that means that's 16, and this is 16. That must be 4 meters. That might help us. Okay, and then it says the point O lies on DC. So O is on that line DC. That's good. All right. Show that the size of angle AOD is 1.231 radians to three decimal places. Okay, angle AOD. I'm going to call it angle X here. Okay, so I think we've got enough information there already just by putting those numbers in to find um, the you know, the angle a AOD, because we have a right angle triangle, and we have this side, which is the hypotenuse, and we have this side, which is the adjacent, so we can use cosine. So it's just by putting in the information as we got it, we basically were able to put enough information down to answer the first question right away. So we have a triangle, a right angle triangle, Okay, this is A, this is O, and this is D. We know that this length was 4 and this was 12, and we have to find this angle, or will call it X, so I can say cosine of angle X. So the cosine of angle X is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Therefore, angle X is going to be inverse cosine of 4 over 12. And that will give us our answer. So let me get the calculator out. Okay, so the calculator um, has to be in radian mode because it says find the size of the angle, show that the size of the angle AOD is 1.231 radians. And this is in degree mode. So we have to change it to radian mode. So this particular calculator, you press shift and you press this, this menu button. You see it says angle units, so you go two. And then it says degrees, radians, radians is two. So press two again. And now you see there's an R up there, so we know that it's in radian mode. So now I can just put inverse cosine of 4 over 12. And that gives us our answer, which is 1.23095. So when it says show that it is something to a certain number of decimal places, it's best to show it first to a higher degree of accuracy and then show that it rounds to that. So 1.23095. 095, I'll just write it like that, 1.23095095, and I'll put dot, 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 meaning I haven't rounded it, I've just written down, you know, what numbers I saw up to there, and now I'm going to round it to three decimal places, so that's the third decimal place, so it's going to be 1.231, and you can see that's exactly what we had to show, okay, and that's fine, so you need to show some steps here, you can't just write the answer down, so you have to show them that you used this cosine ratio to do it. All right, then it says the lawn A, B, A, P, C, D, E, A is shown in shaded in figure two. Find the area of the lawn in meters squared. So I've just got the same diagram with some of the information that we have. Okay, before I continue, let me just do something. I'm going to save this angle inside, uh, store it inside the calculator so that I can use this exact value and I don't have to keep looking at what it was. So I'm going to press store and A. So this is stored 
inside my calculator under A, and I'll show you how to record it when we need to use it. So now, it says the lawn A, P, C, D, A. A, P, C, D, A. That's the shaded part. Okay, that lawn um, is shaded, and we have to find the area of that lawn. Now, that, that, that shape here is not the sector of a circle. Okay, it's part of the sector of the circle. It's like the sector of the circle with this triangle missing. So if I find the, air, the area of the whole sector and take away from it the area of this triangle, I will then have found um, what I need. I would, have, I would have then found the area of this shaded part. So the area of the sector, which is like from O, A, P, P C, O, take away the area of the triangle will give me what's needed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I need to know what the angle is over here all the way around to there in order for me to find the area of the sector because the area of a sector is given by the formula half r squared theta where theta is the angle subtended by the sector so theta is the whole angle from there all the way to that part there and we can see that the line dc is a straight line so we can see in this case if i call this theta theta is going to be pi plus our angle x, which we already found. That's going to be what theta is. So theta is pi plus what we just found up there, which is 1.231. That's what theta is. So I know what theta is. I know what the radius of the, uh, the sector is, is 12. So I can find that area um, of the sector. And I need to now know the area of this triangle. Now, I know that the length from D to O is 4. Okay, so I could actually find this area of the triangle in two ways. I could find what this length AD is using Pythagoras and use a half times base times height. Or I could use the area of a triangle is going to be um, a half AB sine theta or half AB sine X in this case. Okay, so I think because we already know what the angle X is and we know those two sides, I'm going to use that second form. So basically, I find the area of the sector minus the area of... So I have the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. Okay, of the triangle AOD. Okay, so area of the sector, we can call it APCOA. I think that's how they called it there. APC, um, where was it? One second. A P A P C O A. That's how you call it. A P C O A. That's the area of the sector. A A P C O A minus the area of the triangle A O D is the required area of the shaded part. Okay, so let's just do this. So the area that we need, the area that we re require, is equal to the area of the sector, which, as we said, is a half times r squared. So it's half times twelve squared. The radius is 12 times the angle theta, which is pi plus 1.231. That will give me the area of the whole sector. Okay, and I take away the area of the triangle, which is a half times AB sine C. So a half times 12 times 4 times the sine of the angle between those sides, which is the sine of 1.231. And that should give us our area that we need. Let's see if it works out. So we got a half, 0 0.5 times 12 squared, times 12 squared, times pi plus our angle. So pi, I need to put that in brackets actually, pi plus the angle which we stored as A. So I need to recall it. And there it is, 1.230, press A. Okay, so that's that's the angle, 1.231 plus pi. That's that's going to be our, you know, theta, the angle, minus the area of the triangle. So minus a half times 12 times 4 times the sine of that same angle. So I'll just go back to recall and get the angle. As we said, we call it A. And that should give us our answer for the area 
which is 292.196, 292.196, which we have to round to one decimal place. So we can say the area is equal to 292.2 meters squared. And there we have the area of the sector AP, uh, sorry, the area of the shaded region, which is the area of the sector minus the area of that triangle. And that's part B done. Now I'm just going to go straight on to part C. Now part C says, find the perimeter of the lawn in meters to one decimal place. Now the perimeter is the length of the outline of the shape. So we want the perimeter of the shaded area, which is the lawn. Okay, so if you think about it, we have the arc going all the way from A to C. I'll call that L. And then we have this length from D to C. And then we have this length from A to D. And that's basically it. Okay, now D to C, I know is 16 meters because it's like the side of this rectangle, it's opposite there, so that's 16 meters. Okay, and um, I know that A to D can be found using Pythagoras. Okay, it's going to be the square root of 12 squared minus 4 squared. Okay, um, let's just work out what that is. 12 squared minus 4 squared. That gives us 128. So that's equal, so AD is equal to the square root of 128. I'm not going to just leave it in that form, not rounded or anything. Just leave it in that form. That's AD. Okay, so I know what AD is, I know what DC is, and now I need to find the length of the arc. Now, the length of the arc is given by the formula R theta, if theta is in radians. Now, remember, our theta is this angle there. That's our theta. So, if you remember, theta is a pi plus our angle X, which we have stored in the calculator. So, we can work out the perimeter of the shape as being 16 plus the square root of 128 plus the the length of the arc sorry about that plus the length of the arc which is r times theta so the radius is 12 and theta is pi plus x so pi plus x which was what was x again you can go recall 1.231 1.231 okay so we can just stick the, all that in the calculator and we'll get what we need that will be our answer so we're going to have 16 the 16 plus the square root of 128 okay plus r theta so 12 times pi plus our angle so recall a that's the angle that we stored and that's going to give us our perimeter which is 79.784 79.784 which we have to round to one decimal place again so the perimeter is 79.8 meters that's the perimeter the length of the outline of the shape and there we have question number four completed uh, thank you for watching and i will see you soon um as i always do i've put the playlist um in the link that should appear soon over here the playlist for this paper of january 2020 and a playlist for this topic of radian measure should appear just underneath it you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the icon that will appear somewhere in the middle of the screen on this area here and you on the top of the screen i will have a card taking to maybe another set of past papers for p1 um thank you for watching and see you soon